Welcome to the Law in 60 Seconds, my name is Christian Weaver. Today's video is a little over 60 seconds. It's a campaign video on a very important issue. The video is narrated by the video's lead researcher, Tara Dunn. What is an inquest? An inquest is a coroner-led investigation into a person's death, usually where they die from unnatural causes or in state detention. How do families become involved in an inquest? The answer to this may seem obvious. Families often attend inquests to find out how their loved one died and to make sure that the same thing doesn't happen to anyone else, which benefits the wider public. But the inquest process can feel like a maze, where state bodies are represented, yet bereaved families cannot obtain legal representation due to current legal aid restrictions. This can lead to an overwhelming inequality of arms. This is an issue because the aims of families and state bodies are often at odds. One wants truth, justice and accountability, while the other might be more concerned about reputation management. Bereaved families won't usually be legally represented unless they have the money to pay for it themselves or their loved one died in exceptional circumstances such as in custody. Therefore, if for example your child has died unexpectedly in a learning disabilities unit, your sister has died whilst under the care of mental health services, or your father has died shortly after release from prison, you'll have to fight to access funding for legal support. You might be forced to pay thousands just to have a lawyer who can represent you through the complex inquest and investigation processes. Meanwhile, often multiple public services who may be at fault are automatically represented at public expense. Some families can face two, three or even more sets of publicly funded lawyers at an inquest, while you are unable to access funding for one. This cannot be right. Inquest, the law in 60 seconds and young legal aid lawyers are campaigning for legal aid at inquests, so that bereaved families can be represented by lawyers wherever the state is involved.